tell me. I hear you. Is it you? Is it you? Kira borosan kala para hapsi menat raba kuni para borosan bla berat raba kamba. Just come to you, Jesus, and I just ask you to take control of the atmosphere. Take control of the atmosphere, precious Jesus. Shin bla para sukene bakaron poro troko kuna ba. For where I am weak, you are strong. I thank you, Lord Jesus. I thank you, Lord Jesus, that we we just lay our burdens down at the door, and we come in, and we sup with you. I just thank and praise you, Jesus. I thank you 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 and praise you, Jesus. I Get my windows straight here. I know Jim's around here somewhere. <laughs> somewhere. Alright. Alright, Andy had a praise. Um, a youth group that he helps run. Uh, Jack Karina accepted Jesus. Um, he said that they prayed for the Holy Spirit and uh, hunger of God for her and then uh, she had one of those Jesus experiences um, and she cried later with her friend and she has this burden to go to church now. So um, uh, just bless her Lord Jesus Bless her. She has a very interesting name. Jacka Jacaterina. There you go. So I just ask for your blessing and your hand upon her, Lord Jesus. I thank you, Lord Jesus, that you are reaching out in 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 uh, snatching the youth out from the destruction that the enemy would have for them. And I thank you, Lord, for the unquenchable fire. Your fire, Lord Jesus, to burn within them that it may spread in that community as a wildfire, Lord Jesus. The darkness uh, presses in round about. Uh, your lights, your lights in that region uh, grow ever brighter. I thank you, Lord Jesus. For this one, I just ask that you would just give her all the support that she needs and for her family, and for all the, the, the hard things, Lord Jesus, that she will be that bright light and stand for you, Jesus. Bless you, Jesus, and I thank and praise you, Jesus, for this one. Okay. Um... Let's see. Okay, I had another um, kind of praise report. Um, another person. I had a lot of activity on um, my videos that deal with the gift of tongues. Lots of activity. Um, I just praise the Lord that He He gives me what I need um, because I get a lot of railers too. Um, but He gives me just what I need. And uh, and amidst all of the um, the railing and whatever, um, I get these a testimony like this. Um, it says, um, "I have never spoken in tongues before last night. I prayed to God to let His Holy Spirit speak through me in tongues. I woke up last night at 2 a.m. I began speaking in tongues. It was amazing. I I woke in the morning and I spoke in tongues again with greater passion." 
and uh, and then they said, uh, well, I, I had mentioned, um, I just felt a burden to mention because when you're new at something, the enemy is right there, wants to rob it, wants to take it away. So doubt is immediately uh, a big enemy right there. And so I was led to say, um, remember to take every thought captive because the enemy loves to see doubt, especially regarding the gift of tongues because it's kind of like a doorway uh, gifting um, that leads into prophecy and blah, 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 blah. You know, um, I like to say it's one of those uh, things that the Lord use, uses, one of the foolish-looking things. Um, and you remember... Uh, that Deuteronomy passage that I uh, gave you last week. Uh, I believe it was Deuteronomy 13, I think. But anyhow, just talking about how the Lord uses things, um, even people that are wrong. They're so wrong. <laughs> and they can give a word, and, and it come to pass and stuff, and it be completely wrong, and the Lord allows this stuff. Um, people come up some other way, you know, um, because he's testing, he's testing his faithful ones, and so I just praise God. Um, you know, over the years, the whole gifting of tongues thing, it is it is hard because it is such a rejected thing because people are all too easy to look at it fleshly and say it's babbling and condemn it and everything. But um, those of you that know what happens. Um, it's it's you surrendering and let, letting the Holy Spirit pray that perfect prayer. So um, it's really a really awesome thing. Anyhow, back to um, my conversation. He wrote back and said, It's funny that you said that. For the past week or two, I felt the enemy attacking me. I even had a vision of evil, darkness, and demonic beings attacking me. I could feel their presence. I believe that the Lord has answered my prayer in order for me to have another tool against evil. Amen. Isn't that, you know, it's always darkest before dawn. Um, you know, you get a, a lot of attack before that, that breakthrough. And his was because the enemy did not want him to move on into the gifting of tongues. Um, so he, he really got a lot of uh, attack for it so um, I just wanted to share that little um, kind of uh, uh, praise thing because it, it's nice to hear you know and I don't like I'm not saying that I'm Jesus or anything but you know how um, you know Jesus talked about you know he healed the lepers okay and only one came back to say anything I'm so excited because the the tongues video on well I have I have some tongue videos on my other channel um, from other ministries and stuff too, um, but the Hearing God one um, is my like number one hit video of all time. And uh, for the so few that come back and testify, there you know it's like how many more uh, are being impacted. So it's um, it's cool. <laughs> um, all right, uh, just want to say. Uh, yeah, I, I can see uh, those of you that are on the YouTube. Um, I kind of gave up trying to see if the um, the Google Plus one will work. Um, I'm not really sure um, what I did last time versus this time, but I don't really see I don't see any new activity on it, so I just kind of gave up, and I'm just doing YouTube. So uh, if you can't uh, find the YouTube one. Uh, I had the instructions on the the Google Plus. Um, then you can always email at info at hearinggod.tv. Okay. Um, yes. Last week uh, on the forum at hearinggod.proboards.com. I'm getting better at this, aren't I? Um, he he took from something I said on the last broadcast about um, doing the 
the I am in Jesus and I, I said you know everybody should do you know just try it as a challenge you know I'm not gonna sit here and say you should do this you should do that but I'm just saying from my own experience that it was really valuable and so James um, he he kind of turned it into a 30-day challenge I guess I kind of suggested it but he kind of is like yeah let's do it and so he gets on the forum and says oh it's day three it's day five so that's really cool that, that you're doing that. Um, and I just want to bless, bless uh, James. Um, I just thank and praise God for him because, um, you know, he's, he's going through all this physical stuff and believing and standing on healing. Uh, but in the meantime, he's, you know, I'm just grateful for the prayer warrior that he is. I mean, he really is a powerful prayer warrior. You just see me here, you know, once a week, and I happen to broadcast, but I know James um, is awesome, and he's, he's praying all the time. So I just ask, Lord Jesus, for your hand of blessing upon James. I thank you, Lord Jesus, for the encouragement that he is uh, to me personally. And all the things that he goes through. I can look at all these things before the broadcast. I, I totally didn't want to even do this today. Because once it gets past the 10-minute mark, I'm like, it really just starts to wear on me. you know. And I look over, and the light for the Internet's not working, and things are crashing. I had a drive yesterday uh, die on me, and of course I've testified when I did my Bible Promise series that I had that happen as well, and I laid hands and I prayed on it for a long time, many, many days, and it came back. Well, I'm going to be doing that, but at the same time, it's like, ugh, you know, it's like one more thing I have to do, you know, it's just like... I just get upset at the enemy, and you know, and all of the the major adversity and hurdles. Um, you know, something so simple as prayer. <laughs> at least I see it that way. You know, but it's it's powerful. It's the enemy is just really oh, wearing wearing on my sleeve here. Just. I need to smile. Okay. So, Lord God, I just thank you for James. And I speak to his physical body. I speak life into his body. I thank you for the power in your most precious name, Lord Jesus. I thank you that there is no glass ceiling. I thank you, Lord God. I thank you for your warring angels that carry up our prayers. And the, and the word goes forth. And you will not delay. For you love those who, who call upon you. I ask, Lord Jesus, that you would just send forth uh, you're refreshing over James. I speak strength to all of his muscles. I speak even into the 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 basis of the the, the nerves uh, to receive the peace of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus. I speak that right now. I speak to all the chemicals in his body that they will balance out that every everything shall fire as it's supposed to. I thank you, Jesus, that you make all things new. I call forth your healing power, Lord Jesus. I speak to that body. And I command it to come in line with the perfect will of God. I speak to any pain. I bind you up in the name of Jesus. I command you to go the, under the footstool of Jesus for judgment. Release your healing, Lord Jesus. I release your peace. Oh, 
I speak peace even through his room. Change the atmosphere even in his room, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I speak blessing. Blessing just flood out of his room just like a bunch of glitter. Brain, I just command you to fire your information correctly with the whole spinal cord, with the whole nervous central system throughout. I speak, continue to speak forth that new brain. Abundant life in the mighty name of Jesus. Speak that freedom in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Alright. Alright. Um Okay. Oh, William's asking me about how to get on here on the YouTube. Um, um, yeah, it's on the Google Plus page, I believe, under, under the video on the Google Plus page, it says official website. Then it says transit and parking info because I didn't know where to put it. It says you can join the chat here below, which I don't know if you can or not because nobody's written anything there. <laughs> and then I said or click the YouTube that appears in the video. If you click that, you will go to the YouTube page. Uh, and that's where the live streaming chat is and to actually enter the chat uh, James and I found out last week in the video it's not underneath it um, when I first found it it's on the upper right hand corner to actually enter the chat and so that's all I know <laughs> if anybody else has any better um, ways to explain it or whatever please help me because um, my problem is, is I'm so busy throughout the week, I don't have adequate time to really learn what I'm doing. And so um, then when I come here on the weekends, I'm battling all of these blockades um, to, even, to even get on. And so it's like compounded. Uh, it's, yeah, okay. So anyhow, uh, uh, Bill said... Um, He's asking for continued prayer for healing and restoration and reconciliation between Bonnie and himself. I thank you, Lord Jesus. I thank you, Lord Jesus, for Bonnie and for her heart, Lord Jesus. I thank you that you restore that you heal and that you uphold those uh, that have went through so much. You were there for the brokenhearted. Just ask Lord Jesus that you would just surround her with healthy fellowship. That uh, anything that would hinder her from growing and walking in you. We just ask those things be exposed in the mighty name of Jesus. And it's true, she has to choose, Lord Jesus. But if her heart's cry is to be free, then we align with that freedom. And so it, so it is. In the mighty name of Jesus, I thank you, Lord Jesus, that you just ask, you're just waiting. You're just waiting for us to ask. So we do ask. 
We ask that you would send forth your angels to surround her, to protect her, and to uh, move her into all things uh, to being a completely uh, restored and whole woman of God before you, Lord Jesus. And also ask your blessing upon uh, Bill, and the prayer warrior that he is. I thank you, Lord Jesus. Just ask that you would just touch his heart and show him and guide him in all things in the in the in the ways that you would have him to pray to bring forth uh, your best, Lord Jesus. I just ask your, your blessing upon them both and your healing uh, in their relationship as well. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. Um, yay, YouTube. Texting is working. <laughs> Thank you, Salt and Light, for writing. Because, <laughs> you know, it, it's hard because uh, uh, it's not like Stickam where I could see it just going all the time. Um, it, it's, uh, it's hard to know it's working this way. Um, so you like the Bible Promise videos. I do, too. Um, you're going through an injustice battle. And you're find it, finding it very <laughs> tiring, yeah. We read. I will pray for you. I thank you, Jesus. And I'm going to share. I'm going to testify because I kind of had a little, a little thing happen to me this week, too. Um, along the same lines. Eh. Maybe not quite so much, but um, I thank you, Lord Jesus, that you were in control. Right now, Lord Jesus, despite anything, we're going to visualize we are going to the car and we are opening the door for you and letting you be in that driver's seat. We are shutting the door and we are going to sit in the back and we are going to learn something. I thank and praise you, Lord Jesus. That even when it doesn't make sense, even when it hurts, even when it is wrong, you are in control. I thank and praise you, Lord Jesus, that our pain, all these obstacles, these hurdles that we have to go through are not for just nothing. I thank you, Lord Jesus, that they are bringing forth a far greater weight of glory than we can even imagine. I thank and praise you, Lord Jesus, for the, the rough times. For you are polishing us. You are polishing us. I thank you, Lord Jesus, that those rough edges are just being sloughed right off of us. I thank you for your greater purposes, Lord Jesus. I thank you for these dominions that you place before us and that we conquer, that we overcome, and that we go onward and upward into the things that you have us for. I thank you, Lord Jesus, that there's a reason for these things. I ask, Lord Jesus, that during this time, that you would press in all the more to show that you are there indeed holding up the arms of those that go through such injustice. That you give that strength. Lord God, I just ask that you would send forth your angels to go before us. To go before us and soften the hearts of all those that are involved. Lord Jesus, for we are an honored people. We walk in blessing. We align with your truth, and we will not turn and grumble. We will not turn and rail or uh, backbite or uh, malign and speak evil against our persecutors, but we are going to turn the cheek 
I thank and praise you, Jesus, that you give us that strength. I thank you for eternal focus. I thank you, Lord Jesus, that you are making it ever clear. Thank you for paving the way, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Mm. And you know what's funny? My son, uh, he's in home ec and they have to do sewing. <laughs> and he said, Mom, I had to pick a pattern. He said, guess what I picked? And I'm like, I don't know. He picked fuzzy dice. <laughs> and so I'm thinking of Jesus riding with fuzzy dice in the car. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. You know I'm a goofball, guys. <laughs> Okay. All right. Um, I gotta find my pages. Oh, there it is. It's hiding. You know, I could set this up to where I have another monitor. That'd probably be good. <laughs> you are. You have to tell. You have to write them down and let me know. <laughs> <laughs> J. Mark says he's interpreting some of the tongues I've been speaking. <coughs> oh boy. <coughs> All right. Um, okay. Last week uh, we were texting and everything, and. Um, uh, I cannot remember which person it was. I don't know if it was Ginger or let me think. Okay. I'm trying to look through old stuff. I can't. Um, anyhow, you know who you are. Um, you were saying something about... Um, uh, Um, you had a good friend that um, was uh, ha that has uh, multiple scler sclerosis, and I was kind of researching that a little bit because um, actually last week um, it wasn't, but like a little bit before the broadcast, it, it, I don't know if it was even the day before, um, but uh, my family member gave me an article, you know, had stuff about MS in it, whatever, and um, it seemed to me it was like an autoimmune disease, and the autoimmune diseases, um, it kind of fits that same category of the very things that we were praying about last week um, regarding um, self-hatred and that sort of stuff. Let me see if I can find oh, my book. Um Okay, uh what what the suggestion is uh oh my color's crazy, isn't it? I look like the, the green woman. There we go. <laughs> uh a better way, a more excellent way to be in health. Um, you know, I, I still haven't been able to really read through it all. But um, I find it interesting, you know, it was talking about, for MS, it talks about it being rooted in deep, deep, two deeps. It must be kind of like a, a major emphasis thing of self-hatred and guilt. Um, and it even, t it talks about that it's very close to diabetes type 1. Because it involves a father's rejection. So, you know, this book, you know, based on people that have done deliverance for a while and they happen to notice a kind of like um, correlation. So, you know, it's, it's interesting to note. Uh, is, 
I, I can't know unless I find other people that say, oh yeah, that's what it is. So I'd like to encourage you, ask your friend. Um, or maybe you maybe know your friend well enough, but did they have a serious wounding with a father figure in their life? So it would be, you can kind of guinea pig this for us. Um, but if that would be a case, and you kind of notice that, um, then perhaps the self-hatred and guilt are are dead on, and obviously um, the a spirit of rejection uh, as well, and uh, forgiveness possibly too with the father. But again, you know. Um, I'm new to that kind of stuff, so I don't, I don't, I can't say, oh yeah, that's it. You got to do this, this, and that. But something you could uh, question about, and maybe there'll be some kind of tie. But we'll pray for your friend. Breve kira bakora basamara pelo redi pakana bi kira beke pera basike breve redere bakona bakabrasho pera bakay. I thank you, Lord Jesus, that here lately, um, it's it's been with a few people, but uh, the the whole uh, self forgiveness thing, and just getting us to really look at ourselves and our relationship with you and our thoughts towards ourselves. We need to align with your thoughts, Lord Jesus, uh, about who you say that we are. And we know you want us to forgive everyone, but we also need to forgive ourselves too. So, Lord God, we just thank and praise you, Lord Jesus, that you guide us into all things uh, in restoration with you. And we especially pray over uh, this one uh, that has MS. I thank you, Lord Jesus, uh, for her friend that, that cares for her so much. I thank you, Lord God, that you are you are giving keys, that you are you are giving keys. We just speak to this MS and we just command it be exposed in the mighty name of Jesus. Every root, every and any evil root be exposed in the mighty name of Jesus. That the healing may come. In the mighty name of Jesus, we indeed we speak healing and we speak life. No more degeneration, no more robbing, no more body fighting itself, but we speak life and healing in, in your perfect power, Lord Jesus. Okay, and the other thing, same person uh, said that, um, I believe you said, see I got so many things to look for, I think it was on Facebook, but I just can't go looking around all over right now. But I think you said that you and your husband have been suffering a lot of neck and back pain. Uh, so I would just like to say, if, if there's any trauma, um, I've played it before. Um, uh, prayer for release against trauma. Uh, Joan Hunter on Sid Roth. I think it's. Uh, I I think I actually have more than one trauma prayer because she came out with one that was good, and then she prayed another one, and it was pretty good too. Um, so I think I posted those on the Freedoms on One YouTube account. Um, if you have, if there is anything that's been traumatic. Now personally, um, you know, in a sense of warfare. Um, Sometimes I'll be like going somewhere and I feel like what it talks about in the scriptures about like a fiery darts and things. Um, you know, I can remember one time we were going in this one area 
and it felt like a javelin went through my shoulder. And then I feel all these other pains and my joints start hurting and it just feels like, oh my gosh, I, it feels like I'm outside of the wall of Jericho and I'm being, you know. So then I just began to, uh, you know, I'm like in hyper mode. I'm like, okay, all the protection scriptures I can think of, I just start professing. You know, I'm protected, I'm hidden, I'm like crying out, hide me, oh Lord, hide me, my God, uh, you're my shelter, and just everything. Um, so that is another th thing that, you know, I've noticed, like when I have back pain or, or, or neck stuff, that can be something. Another thing could be um, anxiety or fear, uh, kind of as a root. Um, you know, it's it's just like a manifestation of it. So that's something that you can self-examine. Um, so if it's not like a traumatic event or something that caused it, you know, it could be warfare or it could be a root spirit such as, you know, anxiety or, um, uh, you know, and, and another facet of warfare, um, Especially like with the back, um, I've like back when I was in a, a cult, not occult, a cult. I have to be careful when I say that because sometimes people are like, "You're a cult, what?" <laughs> so in a cult, um, uh, like when I was, there are other people in the group that. Uh, one of them, specifically, the Lord told me was a false prophet. And uh, there would be times where, you know, the Lord would move and give me a word or something. I would declare or whatever. And that person manifested jealousy a lot and stuff. And then would begin to chatter and talk behind my back and stuff. And so I would feel things hitting, you know, my backside, you know, my neck. And... I would feel my ears get hot and stuff, you know, and so I knew that was kind of like a heads up, you know, it's like a manifestation of what was really going on. Um, so, um, you know, sometimes if, if people were in a church situation and there's bad stuff going on, I mean, it could be like a, a charismatic witchcraft kind of thing going on too, so... Those are all the, the things that I can think of um, regarding things that could be associated with the neck or back pain. But anyhow, let's pray for you. and uh, But you you can kind of discern, and then you, you can know what to target. So I hope that helps. I thank you, Lord Jesus that you are our shelter. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I pray that you would go before these two. That you would shelter them and protect them in all things that they do, that you would manifest your truth to them so that they would know what they what what is going on in the spiritual that it will make sense with what's going on in the natural. I speak your hand upon them. And I speak your peace and your life and your healing power deep down into their necks. I speak your peace to flood over their heads and to drip down. To drip down, to go all the way down the spine. Your peace. I speak a release to those muscles. I command you to release in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare all tension. I bind you up in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. All right. 
All right. Um, here's one. Um, my worship team leader um, and minister needs prayer. He was told he has a bacterial infection in his throat, but the ER he went to moved him in and out fast, and he feels there's more to it. Um, and the issue is, is that he doesn't have uh, medical insurance, uh, and because of that, hasn't been back to the doctor. So, Lord Jesus, we just lift up this worship leader. You go before him, Lord Jesus. We do indeed uh, speak blessing upon every aspect of his life. We just ask, Lord Jesus, that there would be nothing harbored against the ER for putting him in there quickly. If there's any unforgiveness there, Lord Jesus, we just ask that you would just put that right on his lap so that he would know. We thank you, Lord Jesus. We praise you, Jesus. Lord Jesus, we do indeed speak to that throat. We call on your fire, Lord Jesus. Greater are you within the praises of your people. We reject anything of the enemy that would try to stop this man from leading the high praises to King Jesus. I thank you, Lord Jesus, that this trial that he's going through, that you are bringing him forth stronger. I thank you, Lord Jesus, that by whatever means that you have, we indeed speak life and healing into that throat. We just bind up that infection right now in the name of Jesus, and we command the bacteria that's causing this to wreak havoc, to die, in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, flush this from his system. Even to the deep recesses of his cavities, his sinus cavities, we we speak your life. For you shine like as a light in the darkness. We speak Jesus into those deep recesses. We thank you, Lord Jesus. We just ask that you're, you would uh, make his body a hostile environment for that bacteria. It shall not thrive. It shall not prosper. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And I also speak your hand of blessing upon him, Brobakepik and his household. I thank you, Lord Jesus, that when there is a need, I just bind up any anything that would hinder the blessings to flow. Speak life and blessing. Let there not even be pride in uh, receiving blessing that if uh, your route is to uh, go forth for medical stuff, that, that it not be a blockage. Of course, we are going to stand for the healing uh, I don't know what parts. I, I can't read this guy's mind. Uh, there are things that we can do to bring it on ourselves. So I don't know. Uh, I will stand with the healing. But I know that the Lord uh, works with what we give him. So whatever what this man has given him, I speak uh that Jesus said you will you will bring it forth into completion. I thank you, Lord Jesus, that you don't withhold any good thing. You don't withhold any good thing. So Lord Jesus, even if it's um, the body of Christ to help him out. That, that, that those funds come in in the name of Jesus.
Praise you, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. All right. Um, let me see here. All right. Um, all right. I'm I'm going to be getting to Daniel prayers. Those of you on the forum probably, you know, <laughs> we've been. Helping Daniel. Daniel's on a deliverance journey, and uh, you know we all are. And I just wanted to share a testimony um, because we're not exempt. Um, we're always um, taking on other things. I mean, the Lord. We have so many deep recesses within our spirit, man, um, and every one of them needs to be made whole. Okay, <clears throat> and. What what I can share is, um, you know, I was talking about an injustice thing when we were praying for salt and light earlier. Um, but what happened is, is we had uh, we had to hire somebody to do some work on the house, and oh, you know, they they'd bill us later. Well, we get the bill. And um, you know, I could understand if they char if they start charging on their clock from the time they leave the shop to get here and then to back. The problem was is even if it took 25 minutes, um, the bill was not adding up. There was like at least an hour and a half extra on the bill from that which was quoted and you know there was some other silly stuff on there that was like really you know don't you? I mean they they were calling some other things as a rental when I'm thinking okay don't they have the equipment and then they just use it but they're they're charging us a rental fee for them to use to fix you know it's just very the whole thing was was really fishy and so um, I've shared in my past, um, one of the spirits that I had to over overcome was kind of like a righteous indignation, kind of like a, an I'm right, but it's a so wrong thing because it's, um, it fuels a spirit of anger. Um, I had anger issues and, and other things, um, you know, generationally, things I engaged in as well that I was delivered from. And so when this happened, um, you know, I, I began churning inside. So I'm like, uh-oh. And see, I'm recognizing that that old feeling, you know, that might is right and by golly and, you know, and the problem is that you have a tendency to want to bad mouth the, that which is wrong and, and everything. And so I'm very, very conscious. And every time I get that feeling, I would begin to pray. And I would begin to say, you know, I gave you that visualization of, of Jesus driving us in the car with the, the fuzzy dice, right? <laughs> and so... I would have to just stop. You know, I wake up in the night and I knew that the enemy was trying to plant something in my dreams. And I wake up and the first thing I'm thinking about is that dumb bill and being angry. And so I'm like, all right, I know, I know I'm going to have to speak to this person on the phone. I'm going to have to call them. I realize that. But Lord, I know. I have to do this in the right way. I cannot be fueled by anger, and I cannot, you know, I, I know that the enemy is, is desiring to, to come back. And so I just found myself praying, and I was delaying. I wasn't uh, hasty to make the call. Um, I was just very conscious of what I was doing. So those thoughts would come. I recognize it for what it is, and I would begin to pray. And I would begin to start to profess things of faith concerning my big God, 
and what he was going to do for me that, uh, you know, injustice, you know, uh, anything, you know, you know, I say you know a lot. So, <laughs> you get it, okay? And so I had a dream. And the dream I had was I was like on the back porch and I could see this this black dog and it was kind of reminiscent of, of one of extended family members dogs um, but I saw it and I knew I didn't want it on the back porch with me I knew I didn't want it and then out the window I could see this helicopter and it was having problems and I could see him talking and it's it seems like it's an imminent kind of crash but they're having time before they crash and then I look I look around and wouldn't you know that dog is in the back porch with me and I'm watching as this helicopter is starting to go lower and I'm grabbing this dog and this dog has this it's almost like it got a face on it like a human kind of face but it had that kind of look on its face you know and I'm grabbing it and I'm like no you are not coming in here and I'm putting it out and I'm shutting the door then I wake up from that dream and I recognize uh, you know with the battle that I had with this um, you know this might is right in this uh, offense and, and just everything that's trying to assault me I was recognizing what was going on. Um, a helicopter is kind of like a stationary thing, you know. Uh, it it can stand. And it's kind of like saying, kind of like this stronghold kind of thing. And that dog is what trying to come back, you know. Um, anytime I have a dream with a dog in it, it's generally some kind of spirit, you know, wanting to come back. It's not not a good meaning for me uh, maybe different for you but anyhow um, yeah uh, so it's kind of like the whole thing was kind of interpreted and that helicopter that stronghold was just crashing and it wasn't only that dream but I had another dream about helicopter crashing um, either a few days before or a few days after or something but um, I take note of these things and I try to be patient and adjust it all look look in the natural and pray and it all begins to make sense and so that's exactly what was going on so I called I stated my case to a secretary and um, uh, you know I, I said you know you can email me back or whatever and they emailed back and they took a hundred and thirty dollars off the bill <laughs> and they didn't even quite apologize and state what what the real thing happened was you know that you know so it's like that then that you know in me was like oh come on why didn't you just come clean you know but I didn't do that you know it's like um, I after I had talked with her on the phone I just began to set myself in a place of peace and acceptance and that even even if it would go wrong and they would still bill us this crazy amount that I was going to be okay because God is my uh, everything so um, you know just having to have that peace so with that in mind you know talking with Daniel about things um, the thing that I see with Daniel <laughs> and I love you bro but when those things begin to rise that's the moment that you have to stop and not begin to you, you keep going down that path and taking it a little too far you know and then it, it be, starts to become a, a negative confession and, and you know everything pig piles um, and I know it's hard because it's different for somebody that's not like right in it but at the same time 
I was right in this little war where this stronghold was really trying to come back full force, okay? And, you know, is it possible that that all these things, the timing of it is just so that I could also act something completely off for myself, but also to be able to encourage you as well. So I wanted to say, um, with the Spiritual House Cleaning Series, um, you know, I've, I've talked about, um, you know, going through it, and, and, and I can't make anybody do anything, and all I can testify is, is that it worked for me, but one of the important steps of going through it is when, if you, after you do the St. Augustine's Confession stuff, and you go through all the hurtful trauma events, and uh, all the, the unforgivenesses, all those little issues, um, and you begin to get names of things, you know, fear was one of the things you got. So, let me ask you, one of the things that I talked about in the video series is you need to go to a thesaurus and the dictionary and to really look it up. Um, and the reason why you do that is you look up so that you can begin to see connections, okay? Fear works with what? Well, you know, when you look up fear, you begin to look up other things. And remember, we were axing the Belial thing. Belial um, is like you're nothing, right? Uh, complete you know, the worthlessness thing, okay? It's like all of that. Well, if you look up the different um, things with uh, fear, you begin to see connections. So let me look up, um, I looked up fear, and I believe it was under the thesaurus. They have uh, many different sections, you know, like fear is in, I don't know, like as, as a noun, fear is this, you know. Well, when I look down, um, it's like a part three on the thesaurus for it. It says, under three, it says perspective affections. And when I look about halfway down, it says throbbing heart, palpitation. Of course, there's a whole bunch of other different things listed. But this is kind of the homework that we have to do. We have to know who our enemy is. And this isn't involving us dipping our toe in any kind of slop, but we're beginning to get a full understanding of what's going on with the enemy and how he's attacking us. And so here I am looking it up. I'm doing your homework, man. <laughs> um, but the throbbing heart palpitation thing. So, yes, there's the fear thing. And um, and you're talking about the insecurity and inferiority. Okay, so I looked up insecurity. Lack of confidence or assurance. Self-doubt. Anxiety, uncertainty, vacillation. Okay? Insecurity. Um, and we know what's the opposite of lack of confidence. You know, we have assurance and self-confidence and faith and, you know, so that's why we need to look up the antonyms of all of these things because those are the scriptures that we need to feed on the moment that those things attack, the very moment, just like I was sharing when I felt that stuff begin to rise, I, I had to stop the thoughts. I had to shut them up because if I would agree and start going, yeah, 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 and getting angry at people, you know, things that don't matter. <laughs> I mean, they matter, but you know what I mean. Uh, going down the wrong path, that's when it snowballs. Um, you literally have to brainwash yourself in God's truth and the word, the moment it strikes. So, um, let's go to inferiority. Lower in rank, position or status. Subordinate, deficiency, inability, inadequacy, lack, 
mediocrity, weakness. So again, that's huge tie with that whole Belial thing. You know, that's that kind of. Bleh. Um, and what's its antonym? Superiority, high quality. So, and that's who we are in Jesus. <laughs> okay, and the last thing. So we got fear we were talking about, insecurity, inferiority, and you were also talking this week about rejection. So let's look at rejection. To throw out as useless or worthless, to discard. Imperfect, unsatisfactory, useless. Okay? You see in how these things are really tied. I mean, they are a whole group just bound together in this. Um, antonyms, acceptance, allowance, approval. So anyhow, um, you're asking to please pray that these would be completely uprooted and replaced with the perfect love of God. Mm, excuse me. So, Yes, I agree. <laughs> um, but um, I just want to tell you, um, you know, and like I said, with the whole, that Derek Prince video I had mentioned one time, um, if the atmosphere that you're in is uh, where the spirits are jumping back and forth, I mean, if you're not going to school right now, is there some family member you can visit? Is there something that you can do to shut the door uh, on these things, to be away from that constant, you know, because it's a matter of that, and it's also, you have to uh, claim Jesus in the atmosphere. You just have to keep speaking it, and I know it's it's hard because you're in a war zone. Um, so it's like, the ch what what came first, the chicken or the egg? I mean, it's hard, um, and I can't do it for you. But the one thing I can tell you is, you know, when you have to nip it in the bud, is at the very beginning. And and if they're screaming and arguing and stuff, then that's, you know, go out and take a breather or whatever, and then you just got to begin to, you know, to profess. So anyhow, um, let's just do some prayer. I agree with Daniel, Lord Jesus, that fear has no place. He wants no remnant, no trace of fear within him. Fear that causes that throbbing heart, that that terrible pain in the chest. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for Daniel and his heart which is whole. I speak life over him, Lord Jesus, and strength to go on. I thank you, Lord Jesus. We just commission your warring angels to surround Daniel so that he would have your word on his tongue the very moment that the adversity comes, Lord Jesus that you would give him that sword to chop it away so that he may stand on your promises. We do indeed agree and bind fear in the mighty name of Jesus. We command you to go beneath the footstool of Jesus Christ for judgment. We release peace, contentment, and trust in the Lord Jesus. I know that there are so many other um, spirits, a tag team on here, um, that doubt and stuff. Uh, thank you, Jesus said. You are making him stronger. We also speak to that insecurity. 
that which causes that lack of confidence or assurance that self-doubt, that anxiety and uncertainty. I thank you, praise you, Lord Jesus, that he is yours completely and totally. I thank you, Lord Jesus. And if you have any repenting um, for the times when you've started to go down that wrong path in, in the thought, and then they pig-piled you for it, uh, do do that and we just agree with you we bind up that insecurity in the mighty name of Jesus an inferiority that uh, tries to make you as dust you are not but you are mighty warrior in the name of Jesus so inferiority we also bind you with insecurity and we command you to go to the footstool of Jesus Christ for judgment. You have no place. You have no place. Greater is the Spirit of God within Daniel than in anything that you can throw at him. And we speak to rejection. In the mighty name of Jesus, that which uh, tries to chop him down to nothing. Even the rejection of his father, of his brother, of any family member. We apply the blood. Apply the blood in the mighty name of Jesus. That which is rejected has become the chief cornerstone. And I thank and praise you, Lord Jesus. That rejection, just like has been cast out beneath your footstool, we commanded to go. I thank you, Lord Jesus, that that which came from that, Daniel is that beautiful pearl. And I thank you that you exalt him with your love and complete compassion, your approval. This is my son in whom I am well pleased. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I thank you, Lord Jesus. I thank you, Lord Jesus. Daniel is placing his father in your hands. We also bind up anything uh, generationally, any spirit of rejection, any, any, any uh, inferiority, inferiority any insecurity and any fear that may have been uh, passed on from the sins of the forefathers. We bind all those things up, Lord Jesus, and we apply your precious blood to it, and we say, Lord, forgive us. Forgive any of those wrongs and wash them away, but power of your name Jesus and we declare they no longer have a hold in Dan Daniel's family those things if anyone's praying along those things no longer have a hold in any of our lives we confess them Lord Jesus and we hand them over to you we revoke the enemy's hold on our life and we replace those things with your wonderful acceptance. I thank you, Lord Jesus, that we are uh, ruling and reigning with you. Thank you, Jesus, that we are accepted by you, that even while we're still sinners, that you died for us and that you uh, have such a high calling on us and such compassion and forgiveness on us. I thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that you just need us to step out. I thank you, Lord Jesus, that there is no doubt within us. Oh, boy. Stretch. So we just seal this in the mighty name of Jesus. It is finished. All right.
uh, I had meant to pray for on the broadcast uh, last week. Uh, Bill the Farm's dad had knee surgery, and so we just pray and agree. Rebecca, for no scar tissue, no buildup, we pray that that knee is uh, working in perfect function, function in the mighty name of Jesus. I just thank and praise you, Lord Jesus. Complete healing in the name of Jesus. All right, let me check and see what other prayer requests I have. Nope, not there. Nope, not there. <laughs> I guess I don't have my page open. Um. Oh, hey, looky there. Um. I am able to see some Google Plus stuff. All right. I gotta go to Iron Smith and check and see if there's a, see if I missed anything. Iron Smith is the forum at hearinggod.proboards.com. You can go there and post your favorite things that help you in spiritual warfare or if you need help with dreams, post it and if anyone, uh, you know, take take two cents worth, you know. Um, it's a learning process for sure, but uh, we, we go there and the body of Christ and we can take what the Lord has shared with us and grow. Um, all right, J. Mark uh, was asking for um, a man named Richard who bought his car. Um, he has a neck injury. I was just talking about neck injury stuff. Wow. <laughs> and he's supposed to have surgery. Okay. He recently lost his mother too. And has felt a lot of his friends abandon him. So, yeah. So, you've been praying, rebuking that injury and stuff. So, maybe some of the maybe some of the stuff I talked about with the neck and the back thing, maybe any of that is, will click. I don't know. That's what I always want to know is like, what started it? You know, was it, it was it, you know, it just magically start or were you in a car accident or what because I tell you what that trauma thing um, that can wreak some havoc in people's lives so we just pray for Richard and we just lift him up first of all we just pray for for him uh, as he endures all these these things that that uh, life's been throwing at him that sorrow Lord Jesus, I just thank and praise you, Lord Jesus, that, that uh, you uphold us and that you care so deeply for us. I just ask that you would just continue to be there for Richard and can encourage him in his walk in these days that are, are getting so rough that he, that he would cling to you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for Jay and and his witness in his life that he may be uh, an encouragement and a light for him. Help him in his uh, grief that it not uh, go beyond what what you say it shouldn't go beyond, Lord Jesus, but that uh, that the process of letting go happen 
and that that he uh, can trust in you and your peace, Lord Jesus, and, and turn his mother over to you, Lord Jesus. I thank you, Lord Jesus, for good godly friends. Because it's not quantity, but it's quality. I thank you, Lord Jesus, that you, even if it's just one, uh, I thank and praise you, Lord Jesus, for all those times that I've had where I know I've always had at least one that I know I could place my, my life in their hands and know that I was uh, uh, upheld and cared for and not backstabbed and, and everything. So thank you, praise you, Lord Jesus. I just ask that you would bless their friendship too. And we indeed speak to this neck injury. We speak to the vertebrae. We speak to the muscles. Your life, Lord Jesus. We speak your life and your healing power to flood Richard's neck in the mighty name of Jesus. We speak that life and restoration all the way, all the way. Okay. Hi, guys. <laughs> My one thing crashed on me, but I'm still here, if you can hear me. At least it was that way last time. Hi again. Anyhow, um, geez, um, Jay, I, I hope maybe uh, you can interpret some of those tongues I was giving regarding um, Richard. That would be cool to know what I said there. Um, okay, carrying on. Um, to page two. Yeah. All right. All right, that's all I have on the Iron Smiths. And um, we will pray for Jay. We'll pray for Jay Mar's heart. Oh, Lord Jesus, I thank and praise you. I thank you for his witness. In fact, I want to read what you wrote on the forum because I was most encouraged by it. Oh, I don't know where it's at. All right, well, I don't see it there. I thought I knew where it was, but I don't know. <laughs> you, you said something, uh, you know, you were talking about uh, standing in green for healing. Um, uh, regarding the heart arrhythmias, and so uh, maybe you took it off. I don't remember where it was at, but anyhow, um, amen. That's so powerful. Um, to stand despite <clears throat> everything going on, uh, to uh, align with with uh, God's truth, and not to say, oh. You know, this is a thorn in the flesh, or I'm supposed to be this way, or, or whatever. God God can work through us, and we can be a perfect health. 
<laughs> there's other ways that you can, uh, you know, we're going to be refined no matter what. But uh, I really believe uh, that uh, just standing and, and agreeing is so important um, as a focus, and we cannot falter. We just have to, like God's Word, it goes forth, and just picture it going out in outer space. It just keeps going and going and going and going. And so that's why a double-minded man can't hope for anything because you got too many things going out. Yes, no, yes, no. And, it, you know, when Daniel prayed and the, the whole Prince of Persia thing, from the moment you spoke it, God sent me. And so... We need to just speak it and expect it to come. Amen. So I thank and praise you, Lord Jesus. Speak life over Jason's heart. I thank you, Lord Jesus, for his heart. His spiritual heart, his spirit man. That aligns with your truth. I ask that that truth manifests even in the natural. As he speaks that life and healing into his heart, so it be in the mighty name of Jesus that his heart be completely restored. I speak life and new, even new rubber tissue to those parts, to those parts of the heart that are causing this. Jesus, I speak your life, Jesus. I speak your peace over him. Brevet your complete peace. Mimiri dukina bakura bakara bakura sabara chutere baka. Jesus. Brebaka baka baka baska bakara bakara basha bakara baka. Brebakira bakura bakara baka bakara sika bakara bakara baka bakara sika chivike. Thank you, Jesus. All right. I'm hoping I got everything today, guys. Oh. I'm hoping. So that's all I got for today. Um, I just ask for um, your prayers. Um, yeah, it's it's just so difficult. There's just so much going on, and um, you know, my husband's computer. Um, you know, quit, and so we went and got a a new used one, <laughs> and then now I've got a a drive with a lot of my video stuff on. It's like a terabyte. Um, I'm not I'm not really concerned because I've been through this before and laid hands on equipment before, and you know, it it come back enough for me to retrieve it. Um, so I'm not, I'm not going to be in turmoil over it, but it's just, you know, it's like when the stuff happens, it's like, uh, again, whatever, <laughs> you know, and then just this kind of adversity with, uh, you know, even setting up for prayer. Um, it's just a lot to bust through, uh, get tired, <laughs> you know, so we just continue to, to pray and, and, and believe and to help hold up my arms <laughs> with all this stuff. I would appreciate it. So I think that's all I got this week. Um, thank you for being here. And, uh, just, just ask, Lord Jesus, if you would just send everyone forth. Help them uh, to be ready. And indeed, we, we do indeed pray for peace, Israel. We just ask, Lord Jesus, that your hand would go forth. We thank you, Lord Jesus, that your kingdom come and your will be done and established into this earth. I thank and praise you, Lord Jesus, for, for your holy city, Israel. I thank and praise you that your foot is going to step down. And that our our king, our king is coming. I thank and praise you, Jesus. I thank and praise you, King Jesus. All right. 
God bless you all, and see you on the blog or the forum <laughs> and next week. Bye.